All right, boys, so coming out with Team of the Week, we did have two attack of Iloa, but we also got Keenan Allen. He absolutely went off over 200 yards and a throwing touchdown that was like 45 or 50 yards. This guy definitely deserved the Team of the Week card and obviously got a very, very good one. I know we just got a Mike Evans. We saw like the best Mike Evans card ever. I think this is the best Keenan Allen card ever. He has really, really good speed. They gave him amazing route running and he gets abilities that no other wide receivers in the game get right now. So this card is going to be expensive. He's going to be very special though, and I think he's going to be worth it we'll obviously see in today's gameplay as well but if you guys enjoy videos like this i do gameplays and all the new cards i do top tens i do theme team stuff make sure hit that like and hit that subscribe we are so close to 35,000 subs but other than that let's get right into the card if you are looking for cheap fast madden coins to build that god squad you always wanted head over to my sponsor easy mutt and use code chew for five percent off your order the link is in the description and as you can see like i said they gave him top end speed now he ties mike evans and calvin johnson at 88 speed right there which is the second highest in the game and then when you look at the stats he has two 90 uh route running stats that's amazing 90 short and 90 deep he also has 91 base catching and all of his other stats are really good too he has 89 catching traffic 89 spec and 88 medium six foot two two and so he has really good height but here is where it is obviously he threw a touchdown in the gameplay or in this previous game last week against the vikings so they gave him 78 short accuracy and 76 medium i am in the philly playbook so if we get a good lead i might have to try out the philly special and see if he can throw the ball but we are going to be using short and elite as well he's also the first wide receiver in the game to get slot of matic so very very good abilities on him but we're going to try out that short and elite and hopefully keenan allen can fry just like he did in real life and before we get into the gameplay i just wanted to show you his price by the way i did end up getting him for 750 but this is something that I don't know, man. I don't know. I think there's elite wide receivers. Tyreek Hill, Mike Evans, Calvin are all like 500 in K and below, I believe, right now. So it's really tough to go out for Keenan unless you're a big Keenan guy. Maybe you save your fantasy team. But for gameplay purposes, obviously, I'm going to get this out to you guys. But I don't know if any of you guys should be dropping this much on a wide receiver right now. But anyways, let's go test him out. Let's see if he's worth this. All right, Keenan Allen actually made his way in the top three. I will say, if you probably run into that top three, it's not the most, you know friendly one to see but we are facing a 90 cmc too i don't know if that's from it might be a carolina theme team he's getting that boosted off of because i see the stadium i see the jerseys i don't know boys all right i can't tell yet he has adam Thielen. he also has uh I, I who else is in there i don't know i forget who number five is he was there okay that's not the best start but i'm literally looking at him it's lavisca chanel he has lavisca chanel adam Thielen. so we're definitely playing a panthers theme team and that's probably the worst start we could have had to a game i'm sitting there not paying attention and looking at his cards man I'm going to be honest. I'm actually hoping that he's running some man because I want to see Keenan Allen absolutely fry with it. But let's see on this first play of the game. It looks like really good defense, but we'll take our open reads. I think this will open it up for the rest of the game. Honestly, I haven't really let up many points in, in a lot of games in these kind of uh, these mutt champions things. So I, I guess this will keep him in the game a little bit longer having that big run like that, right? But look at Keenan Allen frying right there. And it looks like we're going to go for a touchdown. You guys can see he has his signature long sleeves on the armband. And we're rage quitting. He just scored it. I don't know if that makes too much sense. But, hey, we went back to the play. We threw a tight end kind of, you know, ghost route on him. And it pulled his user down for the touchdown. I'm going to be honest, boys. I've played a lot of Madden today. I, I keep getting the ball for our second every single game in these game plays. I am going to let him score. I'm guessing run. I think that's only 86 Alave. I just, this is much, James. Like I said, I already completed all my stuff. I finished the comp pass out. I just want to use my guy Keenan. Come on, man. I've only had one play with him. So the thing I want to see the most is man coverage. And it actually looks like this might be a man blitzer right here. I'm actually going to block my tight end because this looks like cover zero. And I think Keenan Allen should fry. Oh, yeah. Look at that zig route separation. He has the fast juke move too. Okay. We've seen all we've got to see from Keenan Allen to tell he's elite. He has the face scan as well. The beard is too. Come on, man. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of hate when cards don't have face scans. It, like, makes me not want to use them. Keenan Allen obviously has everything about him. He's been in the game long enough. He should, right? Let's see. And actually, on the bottom route right there, I love throwing that ball. Especially when you have a good wide receiver, good route runner, you're going to fry every time. Right, I'm actually going to run the ball to the left side. I just want the ball on the left hash, and then we're going to we're gonna hurry up and then flip it. I mean, that's, that's a little bit better than being on the right. So we're going to hurry up, flip this, and we're going to run that play we actually scored that touchdown on last game. And I'm thinking Keenan Allen might be able to get open against this cover three right here. Let's see, boys. Keenan Allen, there you go. Wide open. Can we get through, though? Ah, that would have been awesome. Come on, man. All right, we're trying everything. It looks like he might have went back to that, like, cover zero look. Oh, yeah, he did, boys. Keenan, a bad throw right there, but Keenan is frying. Every route, we have post routes, we have crossers, we have dig routes, 
I mean, Ziggurats as well. We are absolutely dominating with Keenan. I'm trying to show you guys the best way to, like, utilize a card like this. It's just drought already, man. Get him on the field one-on-one. -on -one. Any sort of matchup, he's going to fry. And, of course, you guys know me. I am an absolute two-point merchant. I go for it all the time because, you know, sometimes the defense can't save me out here. And look at Keenan once again, man. We'll take that lead. Let's go, baby. All right, so we haven't seen really his offense yet because we let him score on the first play. But now let's play a little bit of defense. You know, we've seen Keenan Allen kind of do it all. I feel like we've got a good gist of how the card is going to play. But, you know, just for purposes, we still want to win this game, right? Of course we want to win it. He keeps on sending out that running back. We'll be having all day to scream at him and just hopefully we can play some good defense on the back end. And there he goes. He blocks the running back, but we still get three people in the backfield. I feel like hurrying up every single play kind of like hurts you. If they're like negative plays, right? You got to like reset it a little bit. Hurrying up, I feel like just puts so much pressure on you as a player. And uh, never mind. Uh, never mind. He just had a good play. Uh, I got clicked off, boys, but I did double hard flat, but that seemed to not matter. I probably would have been every single play. So I think it is a good strat. I will say if you don't have the best offense in the world, hurry up every single play. You'll throw off your opponent a little bit. But the problem is, is you're going to make very bad reads like that. You're going to sooner or later throw a pick. All right, come on, man. Let's get an interception on this guy regarding the running back flats. Come on, man. You're going to have to block that RV. Right, let's get it, boys. He just snaps it so fast. I really can't even get an adjustment too much on the field. And Rondé Barber, what was that? Oh, that would have been... Imagine if that was like a fourth down, but like in five and they end up picking it up. That would be just absolutely terrible. Hold on. He quick snaps these. This is what makes it a little bit harder. And he quick snaps the run... No sorry, man. Those quick snaps can only save you for so long. And just like that, the fraudulent offense is out of here. I mean, honestly, it was kind of a quick but nice gameplay with Keenan Allen right there. We did a gameplay on Tua. We did a gameplay on Keenan. Probably the only two real good cards that came out today with Team of the Week. I would say it's been disappointing as of late. But that card, amazing. Probably a top three receiver in the game. I would lean him over Mike Evans for sure. I love that he's 6'2", so not too tall where he's running clunky routes. He gets good abilities. He runs routes amazing. It's three different 90 thresholds, too. Yeah, Keenan Allen arguably is wide receiver one. If you're looking for the perfect balance of a card, let me know how you guys feel about him. Are you guys adding him to your squad? Are you saving coins? But I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.